Financial Secretary Paul Chan has defended the decision to scrap all special stamp duties for property sales over a decade after they were introduced. He told a radio show that some Western countries, led by the United States, had been bad-mouthing Hong Kong, and this affected market sentiment and capital flow. He said when the so-called spicy measures were rolled out to crack down on speculation, over 25 percent of home buyers were non-locals. Chen said the cooling measures were necessary to give Hong Kongers a chance to get on the housing ladder. There should not be worries about supply, he said, as 110,000 new homes are set to be on the market in the coming three to four years. Chen Ok said that if the real estate sector turns red hot again, the government can make adjustments accordingly. This include implementing a vacant property tax. We hope the market can develop steadily and healthily, Chen told listeners. Chen also said feasibility studies will determine when the Kao Yichao project will resume. Earlier, he said the plan would be delayed by two to three years. Chen emphasized that the postponement will not have a major impact on land supply. Speaking in another radio program, the minister brushed off concerns that the possibility of failed land tenders would affect housing supply. The government will insist on creating land no matter what, as there are always ups and downs in the market, Chen said. Janice Lowe, Cable News.